Hello, my viewers. I am Mr. Dilip Kumar Pal. Today stands before you with a very important theory of public administration, that is human relations theory or new classical theory. Today we will take off this human relations theory or new classical theory which was propounded by Elton Mayo and human relations theory is a very important theory in the sphere of organization and this theory is a very relevant theory for plus three honor students as well as post graduation students and it is also very much essential for those students who are experienced for higher type of jobs through competitive examinations. Let us start. What is human relations theory? In the sphere of organization of public administration, there are many type of theories. But human relations theory is a very leading theory in the subject public administration in its sphere organization. Or in the sphere of organization of public administration, human relations theory is a very important theory. And this theory was propounded by Elton Mayo. He was the propounder of this theory. And this theory was popularized by professors like B. Warner, L. J. Henderson and W. Lloyd. Human relations theory was told by Elton Mayo who was a professor in Harvard Business School. And this theory, human relations theory, has developed as a reaction against classical theory of the sphere organization. But it, it, it does not reject classical theory, rather it adds some new points in classical theory and omits those points which are not required. Due to this reason, human relations theory is otherwise known as new classical theory. So, what is a human relations theory? Human relations theory is a theory which speaks that in an organization, production cannot be increased by advanced technology or advanced office materials. Rather, production can be increased through workers. If workers in an organization will be given importance, if their feeling will be just, then worker can increase the production. So, in an organization, for the increase of production, main role is taken by the worker. So, workers are very important in an organization. If they will be positive in their attitude, production in an organization will increase. And if they will be negative in their attitude, 
production in an organization cannot be increased so workers are main factors in an organization but no doubt workers are main factors in an organization but three requirements of workers must be fulfilled otherwise workers will not work three requirements of workers must be fulfilled number one workers as a human beings no doubt in an organization workers are found workers work but they must be treated as human beings they must not be treated as machines they must be treated as human beings because they have feeling emotions sympathy and human nature so workers must be treated as human beings in organization by this they can play an important role in the increase of production number 2 attention to workers relations among workers there is a type of relationship it must be given importance because a particular worker will feel if his fellow worker will be hot or if his fellow worker will be misbehaved a worker will not like a manager who will say him against his fellow workers a worker will not like a manager who exploits other workers so workers relations must be given importance first of all workers must be treated as human beings number 2 their relationship must be given importance number 3 participation of workers in management workers will be pleased or workers will be happy at that time whenever they will be allowed to take part in decision making process of the organization if they will be given chance to take part in decision making process of an organization there will be good relationship between the employers and workers so human relations theory speaks that an organization will have better production an organization will have development not by advanced technology or advanced office materials rather an organization will have more production if the workers will work in a positive way workers are important so you know to know the human feeling among the workers four tests were made in a telephone company situated in chicago in america where there were 32000 workers so whether workers have human feelings or not to know about that four tests were conducted Number one, great illumination experiment test. Number two, ready assembly test room experiment. Number three, human attitude and sentiment experiments. Experiments. Number four, big wiring experiments. You know to know human feeling in the workers. Four tests were conducted. the first test was known as great illumination experiment 1924 to 1927 in this test workers were given work in different light system sometime they are told to work in a lighted place and sometime they are told to work in a lit in a less lighted place less lighted place but in spite of that production of the organization was in, was not increased again 
workers were given high salary. High salaries were given to laborious workers. In spite of that, production of the company was not increased. It was observed in the test that workers have human feeling. They will not like a manager who exploits him. They will not like a manager who flatters him. They will not like a manager who will say a worker against his fellow workers. So it was realized that workers have human feeling. It is important. So in the first test, it was realized that for the increase in production, good salary of the workers will not be a solution or to give them work in a lighted place or a let, less, let, less lighted place it is not important rather the most important thing is the feeling among the worker must be marked if human feelings among the workers will be marked if it will not be hot then worker will work more and second test it is very important ready assembly test room experiment it was held in 1927 to 1928 in this test another test was made first of all workers were given work and they are told that they are not observed Again, I'm telling, first of all, workers are given work and they are told that they are not observed. At the time, workers took no interest in the work. Again, they are given work and they are told that they are observed. At the time, they took interest in the work. So, in this test, again, a human nature among the worker was marked was marked whenever the worker knew that he was not observed he took no interest whenever he came to know that he was observed he took interest another human nature in the worker was marked in this test and number three human attitude and sentiment experiments 1928 to 1931 third test was human third test was Human attitude and sentiment experiments 1928-1931. In this test, workers are told that they are they will have to give answer on a yes or no. Even telling in this test, workers are told that they will have to answer only with yes or no. At the time, they took no interest. Again, when workers are given some listeners to work, whenever they are told that some people are listening to them, at the time, again, they took interest in the work. So, another human nature was marked. Finally, in another test, big wiring experiment 931 to 932 another experiment was made in this test it was known that workers sometimes reacts if they will be happy they will react in some different manner if they are hot if they are insulted they react in some other manner so in the human relations theory, it is made clear that in an organization, production will increase only through workers. If workers will play an important role, then production of an organization 
we increase. So workers are the center. So workers will be the center in the organization at that time whenever their human feeling will have to be given stress. If their human feelings will be given stress, if they will be happy, they will work more. If their human feelings will not be given stress, if their human feeling will be hot, they will be unhappy and the production of an organization will not increase. So human relations theory or neoclassical theory mainly points out that in organization, Production can be increased only through workers and no other factor. Okay viewers, in this video we are very clear about human relations theory whose propounder was Elton Mayo and human relations theory otherwise known as neoclassical theory. I have confidence that my viewers are clear what is human relations theory and how in the workers human nature is marked through four important tests. Number one is great illumination experiment 1924 to 1927. Number two, ready assembly test room experiment 1927-28. Then human attitudes and sentiment experiment 928 to 931 then big wiring experiment 931 to 932 so sure. i'm i have full confidence that my viewers will be clear about human relations theory of public administration by watching this important video thank you my viewers i hope you will take best use of this video which will be helpful for your future examination. Thank you. Goodbye to all.